Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Um, we're going to talk about solar-powered LRT, um, but before we get there, you should probably learn a little bit about me and how I actually came to be presenting and talking about this to a room full of people. I got the clean energy transition bug uh, my last year of college. I picked up a book called The Geography of Hope by an author named Chris Turner. And it really flipped a switch for me and how I approached kind of climate change in my life. It, the book was full of inspiring stories, talking about people and organizations who were making a difference, who were, who were building renewable energy projects and launching energy efficiency programs and building sustainable housing. And it was, it was a real important book for me in that I wasn't just stewing in my own anxiety. I wasn't worrying about rising sea levels. I wasn't worried about PPM of, of CO2 in the atmosphere. And as a result of that book, I eventually ended up running uh, Green Energy Futures, which was a communications project which was run through the Pemmonen Inst Institute. And much like uh, the, the book, we went across Canada and we, we profiled uh, successful people who were making the clean energy transition. Okay, so we've gotten to, we've gotten past me. Uh, what the hell is a solar-powered LRT? Okay, here it is. It's a simple low-cost, long-term contract from the city of Edmonton to buy enough solar power to cover the yearly demand for Edmonton's LRT system. So don't worry, the LRT will not literally be powered by solar panels. Uh, I like taking the LRT when it is cloudy outside and at night. So if that's what, the, uh, if that's what it is, you know, is this some kind of fancy new idea? Has this ever been done before? And, and the truth is, is that down in Shelbyville, in Calgary, uh, we have, there we go, we, they did this 15 years ago. Uh, they had this Ride the Wind program, which was essentially the same thing that, that I'm proposing now, but with wind energy. And as a result, uh, a, a small, well, actually a medium-sized wind project got built in southern Alberta as a result of that commitment. And that really kick-started, which at that point was a tiny, nascent wind, in wind energy industry in the province. So, okay, so it's been done in Calgary, but has been done in other places. Just earlier this year, Santiago, Chile, the capital, a uh, city of five million people, announced that their entire public transit system would run on solar power. That's a 100 megawatt project that's getting built right now, which is gonna be completed by the end of the year. So, okay, so it's been done before. You know, we like the idea, we like solar power. Is solar this kind of like new technology that, it, that no one, it's really expensive, that we don't know how it works? It's not true at all. When you look at the United States, they're going gangbusters on solar. They've installed 7,500 megawatts in 2015 alone in the United States. By comparison, Alberta has 12 megawatts total. So it, it, it's really a massive industry down there supporting a ton of jobs. And really when you look at why it's booming down there, solar uh, is cheap. The cost of solar has fallen off a cliff in the past five years, and it's, it's really, uh, it's really a, a big part of their economy down there. And not only has it, has it fallen off, the cost fallen off a cliff, but Edmonton has amazing solar potential. If you were to put a solar panel in Edmonton, and then you were to put a solar panel in Rio de Janeiro, that solar panel would produce roughly the same amount of energy over the course of a year. We get 325 sunny days a year here, and, and that's really incredible when you think about, about it. And uh, to my cousin, who's here, who's from Vancouver, I just have to say, suck it, Vancouver, because <laughs> they do not get nearly much, as much sun as we do. And to his credit, he actually lives here, he likes it here, I just like to rag on him. Um, so not only is solar cheap, but the city already has a similar plan. Within the context of the community energy transition strategy, which was a slide way back when, as you can see, I'm not paying attention to my slides. The, um, they want to buy 10% increments of green energy for the LRT over the next 10 years. And while it's a fine plan, it's not very ambitious, and we end up paying higher prices for that cost, we don't get to point to a local project with local jobs and local investment. So, and the other thing is that just last week, the city of Edmonton set aside $3.3 million to buy green energy because the city is not meeting its greenhouse gas emission targets. And the big complaint that was raised by you know, the usual suspects on city council, the Mike Nichols, the Tony Catarinas, the Brian Andersons, was that this money was just being frittered away and it wasn't going to projects, it wasn't being spent on something that would help Edmonton. So in that case, the solar-powered LRT addresses those concerns and we get local jobs and local investment and we get to kickstart a solar industry in the process. 
So that's the kind of the real Cole's notes of the solar powered LRT project. Um, it's really pretty simple. It's just a contract. And it's, we have, uh, the, the province is actually starting a process right now where the, uh, they're going to be directly supporting renewable energy uh, through the carbon tax. So developers, it helps defray the risk for developers. And frankly, uh, it's just something that makes a ton of sense and that developers should be able to make money on. So uh, that's where we are right now. This is kind of a soft launch. If you go to y, if you pull out your phones and go to yegsolarlrt.ca, you can uh, you can give me your uh, your email address and I'll keep in touch when we get closer to doing this. But I need as much support as I can get. Um, I have between today and November 30th, when I'm getting in front of a committee to talk about this for the city, to show that Edmonton supports this idea, and I think we can do it. I think that there's enough support both in this room and around Edmonton who, if we explain this idea to them, will be like, yes, of course, why, 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 why wouldn't we do this? For something we're already spending money on, for something that's cheap, that's affordable, that's a mature technology, for something that's the next generation of uh, energy infrastructure, this is something that makes a ton of sense. So with that in mind, uh, I'd love to have your help. Go to the yegsolarlrt.ca website. I will be in the, uh, in the foyer afterwards with a clipboard talking to people about this. And I love your suggestions too. I mean, we're building the business case, we're working on details, um, but, but really, what we really need to do is just show that there's widespread support for this. So uh, that's pretty much the end of my presentation and I thank you for your time. But just one last thing is that I think, given the debacle that was the Metro line, uh, I, think, I think Edmonton deserves a happy LRT story and I think this could be it. Thank you so much.